You. So, some time ago, we looked at fixing scratches on iPods. I dragged this behind my motorbike for a test between flash modding and a hard drive. And yeah, funny enough, the hard drive won. It's still in here. It's completely flat though. But with sandpaper and Brasso, matey, that's not bad. I mean, I, I had only a quick go as well. These are some serious scratches, I gotta tell you. I didn't have a lot of luck on the back though. I tried with a buffer and all that sort of thing. It just made it cloudy. So if any of you out there have any ways to really make these look kind of new again I mean that's that's serious damage <laughs> but let me know because I got heaps of these back cases and we can shoot out some ideas on how to make these pretty again but that is not the theme of this episode no 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 basically I love patina I love the wear on things there's a difference between worn and damaged take my dad's old leather jacket for instance I love this thing still use it for motorbike riding see now that's worn. I've worn it so much that, you know, all the stitchings come apart. Now that's damage. And there's no better theft deterrent than having a sleeper pod that looks like old junk, but there's actually got really good tech inside of it. But this is not the iPod we're playing with. This lad. If you're wondering where I get all these things, I look for large eBay lots of iPods, you know, where you get like 10 or 15 of them, and there's no guarantees that any of them work at all. That's why I was so excited when that hard drive with Gears iPod turned up. Had no idea it was on there, because, you know, it's a total crapshoot. So, the thing with this guy, front case is actually pretty good nick. Yeah, I was really blown away that this one worked. Let's say it together. HP. But this is pretty typically worn, and you know, this is how mine looked. You know, to me, the back case is just the sacrificial lamb to these guys. It, it's gonna sit like that anyway. And anyone that's owned one of these new knows that even if you put this in a vacuum chamber, the air molecules being sucked out would scratch these. It's impossible. <laughs> now, relating to automobiles and motorbikes and all that sort of thing is, this back case is stainless steel. High performance exhaust systems are made out of stainless steel and in the bends where they get really hot, stainless steel likes to turn blue. And that got me thinking, if I can't get rid of the scratches on this, what if we made it just look epically aged? And now straight up, uh, we're playing with fire. This is a map gas torch. <laughs> Uh, I was having my hand at aluminium braze welding trying to fix the mounting points on the bell housing of the transmission of my XF panel van. Uh, you could use butane torches. Uh, they don't get as hot as this. I don't think you need to go as hot as this. But that basically means this is dangerous, eh? So, you know, don't do this inside. Don't do this next to your petrol rag collection or any of that sort of stuff. Don't do this anywhere near flammable stuff or even don't do it at all. <laughs> this, this doesn't make your iPod work any better. You know, I've just got all these old guys and we're just mucking around. Ah, oh, she opens easy. Someone's been in here. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I was in here because this one had a dead drive and a dead battery and with a good drive and a good battery It worked the best thing I could do for storage is to take all that stuff out So we're gonna put this aside. We don't need this this guy right here So before we can heat this up to the point where it's literally glowing cherry red We need to take all the plastics out Oh you idiot uh -huh. Don't forget this guy on the bottom, cause yeah, like we're gonna get this stupidly hot and this stuff will melt instantly. So we need to take this lettering off, cause I'll show you what happens if you leave stuff like that on there. You might wanna write something on there is what I'm saying. So I have done this before. I've had a couple of tests just to see how it works and I'm gonna need a helper for this. So introducing the world's smallest anvil. I know it's not the world's smallest anvil, but you know, I need this guys. J just roll with it, okay? J you know, just be cool. Because what I noticed is the hotter spots turn the bluest. And if you just heat it up right in the middle, it sinks, it kind of like sinks inwards. And if you're flash modding it, maybe that's not a big deal. Maybe you like the look of that. And if you heat it up at the corners first, First. I don't know, I didn't like that very much. So what I'm gonna do is rest it on top of this guy and so it's got something underneath. So when I get started on trying to keep the heat even, so it all kind of has a chance to climatize, I suppose, and it's less likely to warp as much. It's probably gonna warp a little bit, to be honest, because we're heating this up a lot.
And uh, here you go. Look at that. Check out all these, all the detail and the scratches and things. And look at that. It's a bit of schmutz that I didn't bother to clean off because, as you can see, it'll actually leave a permanent mark behind. So that's why I took off that riding. It'll actually tattoo it into the into the back case. So if you want to put some crazy designs on there and then hit it, uh, that kind of works, I suppose. Uh, I did a second one of these where I just heated it straight in the middle, and as you can see, it buckled inwards. It really distorted. You could get this back in the shape of some sorts. That's what happens if you just do it straight on the ground. All right, trying to put it back together. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah, there's a little bit of warpage. I mean, you saw how it hopped off of the anvil because of the because of the heat. But there we go. I'm gonna grab old mate here. We're gonna do this the cheaters way. Everyone, get mad at me. Look, get mad. Get mad. Someone said 256 cards can work in the photo, so why not give it a try? No, oh, she doesn't want to go back together very well. <laughs> it's warped a little bit. Uh oh. Come on. Oh dear. Oh, she's not happy. Oh dear. Yes. <laughs> this is why it's a pretty pointless uh, mod, because it actually, uh, actually just makes this more difficult. Hey! Wow, holy heck! Look at that! It read it! That's awesome! I didn't know a, t a fourth gen could ever get close to 256 gigs, so there we go. And um, yeah, I mean, with all the pieces in there, you know, it's it's neat. I kind of wish it didn't have these little hot spots, but it, it's kind of hard to control. I mean, I've had a few goes at this now, and uh, yeah, it's not really for the faint heart. And well, um, yeah, that concludes the this video in where you risk burning down the house and everything dear to you to make your iPod look worse.